Hey, what's happening, everybody? Joe for the Joe Once Project. Hope you're doing well today on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. Well, at the time of making this video, it's Saturday afternoon. I don't know what time you're watching this, but anyway. So, uh, I had a lot of fun last night on Stafford's Music Studio live stream with R2 and David Stafford. It was a lot of fun, man. If you haven't checked that out, check it out uh, on Stafford's Music Studio's YouTube channel, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, right? Uh, great time last night. So, today, we're going to go to my son's house and we're going to jam. He got a um, Marshall half stack. So I'm very excited for him. He's wanted a half stack for a long time. And you can see mine back here. I got the, well, it's not a Marshall. It's a, it's a PV 5150, all original. But uh, it's right there along with the Boss Katana head. And so we're going to, we've already got our case ready, ready to rock and roll. Got a couple of standards right there on standby <laughs> but here's our uh, guitar in hand and the effects I'm going to take are well this is a, a wireless unit X5 and uh, Dan Electro Pastrami Overdrive and our Vox Wah um, so uh, my other Vox Wah conked out on me I had it for like 20 years so I can't really say nothing uh, but for now I've been using this uh EVH wah for a while and um I like it it's cool but uh I got another wah coming uh ordered a Jimi Hendrix wah last night from Reverb so I'm gonna tell you Reverb is the place to go man if you want some uh you know it don't matter effects or guitars or whatever and you want it right now and not have to wait on a pre-order Reverb is the place to go if you don't mind use gear I don't mind at all I'll show you a couple of pedals real quick before we leave that I got off Reverb recently. Oh, which is this uh, DD5 right here. Got that off Reverb. And this uh, Harmonist PS6. Got that off Reverb. And uh, very happy with it. I was like, yeah, man, awesome. So anyway, let's get ready to load up and head down the road, man, and go jam and have fun for a couple hours. See you in a second. All right, man, we are on the road out here in the country. Man, I love living out in the country, man. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. We got some rain a little while ago. I didn't even know it was raining. It's uh, it's humid. The humidity is back. Uh, all last week was wonderful, man. It was humidity was low. It was comfortable. Oh, man, now it's like right back, right back. We got to turn on some air. It is stuffy in this truck. You might hear it in the mic. I apologize. Man, oh man. So yeah, my son is really, he's really jacked, man. He's jacked up. He's uh, He's got this Marshall half stack. He uh, ordered it from uh, AMS, American Musical Supply, if you're not familiar. Um, which I've done business with them for I know 20 years at least at least uh, I started getting stuff from there when he was just a kid man and uh it's gonna be bumpy right here ooh, ooh. oh man that, uh, I didn't make it across the road there's a river right there you cross and it was a uh, that animal did not make it I'm trying to cross that bridge that's sad um anyway so uh I remember when I first told him about AMS uh, a long time ago when he got into guitar playing and stuff like that. I still remember the first thing he ordered off of there. It was, a, I believe, it's a Ibanez Acoustic, I think. I'm sure he still has it. I think that was the first thing he got as far as payments. Not the first thing he ever ordered, but as far as setting up payments. And, uh, and I told him, I said, Nathan, if you've never done anything through them, as far as a payment plan and um you know they're going to want to probably run your credit or something unless you do three payments if you do three payments they don't check your credit but excuse me anything over that they're going to check your credit and uh he applied again this was a long time ago and he got it so i said if there's any place that you want to keep good credit it's american musical <laughs> supply or sweetwater or z sounds whatever whoever you shop with i said but you want to make sure it stays stays right with them i said because that's how i get my gear you know I, that's how i get my stuff um 
So that line of credit has always been A1. It's never been bad. Uh, uh-uh. And, uh, you know, uh, everybody's in different situations, man. A lot of people, they can go to, like, Guitar Center or even online and drop a pretty good penny on some stuff. I've always got my stuff on payments, and it's just worked out better for me. You know, so it's all good, you know. The bottom line is you are able to get the gear that you want so you can continue to perform your art, right? So uh, we're coming up to this stop sign, and then we'll uh, flip the camera around so you can see the beautiful countryside here, right? Oh, uh, yeah. See what I mean? Man, look at those clouds. Yeah, I don't know if the rain's done with us or not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, we're going to come over here and we're going to jam for a little bit. My son and I, we try to do this uh, about every month and a half or something. And we just try to get together and jam and hang out and some good father-son time. Uh, I'm really glad that, you know, when he decided to play the guitar years ago, I was really glad. I mean, I didn't. I didn't force it on him or nothing. I introduced it to him when he was a lot younger, and he was kind of like, eh, I don't know. I said, okay. I said, you know, hey, if you ever get ready and you want to do it, just let me know. I can give you a couple of beginner pointers. And uh, he's like, okay. And uh, he did. He eventually did. He uh, started. I gave him a little, I gave him a guitar, you know, and, uh, he started working on stuff. Only thing I showed that boy was like just your typical blues rhythm, you know, in the key of E. Just a standard blues strumming rhythm, real simple. That was the that was the first thing I learned when I was a teenager. And so I showed him that and I said, just work on that and kind of build up your coordination and all that and and let me know when you're ready for something different. And he's like, Okay. <clears throat> so he starts doing that, and then, really, it wasn't no time. He had that down, and I was like, man. So, I might have shown him a couple of other minor things, but, you know, I, not really. He kind of took it upon himself. He started reading tab books and uh, the uh, video lessons, because, you know, he's from the era, too. I mean, he just turned 30 in July, so he's from the era where he remembers VCRs and VHS tapes, and and then when DVD uh, players came into into fruition or whatever, you know, he remembers that. He remembers them uh, tapes I had with, uh, what was it, Intense Rock or whatever with Paul Gilbert. I, I could have that title wrong. But, uh, <laughs> and Nathan and I would just be sitting in the living room just watching just watching Paul Gilbert just you know give me an L give me an I give me a C give me a K give me S what does that spell licks 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 I mean that is uh, if you're a guitar player and you're in this age bracket you know what I'm talking about and uh he was playing like a purple Ibanez or something like that he made like a few more videos after that that was really in high demand because I think that was the and the moment in his life, Paul Gilbert, I think that's when he was doing like the Mr. Big thing. <clears throat> I always love Mr. Big, man. God, dog. Phenomenal. Talk about a super group, man. Damn. Billy Sheehan and Paul Gilbert and man. That, that vocalist, I'm, oh, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank. He is one of the best singers I've ever heard. One of my favorite singers. And I'm drawing a blank on his name. That is just bad. But he is incredible incredible but yeah nathan was looking at all those videos man and he just he just whew, he took off and now the tables have turned now i'm like hey show me that man show me that show me that lick you know i'm sure i'll do that over here because he he knows some really cool bonamassa-esque blues licks you know and he's able to do all that shred picking and stuff and so i can't do that stuff man i I just never could. I just never could. I want you to see this. Look to the left in the frame. I don't know if you're able to make it out. Look at the gas prices down here. It says 173. Did you see that? That's the store I got to go to on the way back. I got to pick up a few things at the store. And then... 
get some uh, something for dinner and pick up some beer. Damn sure need some of that. Oh, uh, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. But anyway, it's going to be cool, man. I'm going to, uh, I believe, you know, I got one of those little smartphone uh, tripods. <clears throat> Not the real little ones, but it extends, I don't know, like three, three and a half feet. I got it from Amazon uh, about two years ago. And I told him about it. I said, you need something like that if uh, you're going to make videos uh, <clears throat> for your YouTube channel. I said, it's a lot better than trying to prop it up on top of an amp or against something. It'll fall over. I said, this way your, your phone will stay secure and it won't be shaking around or nothing like that. Man, you can't go wrong with a decent little tripod for your smartphone. It's a really wise investment. If you're wanting to do videos, you know, <clears throat> he just now started uh doing some videos on this channel uh he was asking me about doing some of that stuff and i was trying to show him some little basic editing tips you know so i told him i, I was doing a video today and i said i tell you what man i'll get all this done get it edited and i'll send it to you on whatsapp and you can either put it on your channel or you can put it on your facebook or whatever you want to do or if you just want to keep it for yourself you know but it's good to kind of know those little things if you want to get into that. You know, he's he's never really messed with videos that much, but he's starting to now. So it's a whole different learning curve. And it's not a big deal. It just depends on how you want your video to pop out. You know, for years, all I've done was just one angle, one camera shot. I did that for years. I didn't know how to do anything else. And then I uh, started working on... Um, some different uh, camera angles and transitions and stuff like that. It's, it's fun. I enjoy it. I mean, it's nothing professional by any means, but I enjoy it. You know, just like playing guitar. I I love doing that, man. It's a lot of fun. All right. Uh-oh, we got somebody walking their dogs right here in the road. Let's uh, give him some room here. There we go. All righty. Have to go really slow on this residential street, man. And what gets me is, small as this street is, you well, I don't know, I don't guess you'll see it now, but I've been down here before where a lot of people have parked on the side, and I'm like, side of the road, you know. I'm like, man, I could barely get down through here. Today it's clear, though, which is a good thing. All right, let's get in here and get set up and uh, see if we can jam a little bit, have some fun. All right, we're at my son's place now, and you can look at his wall of guitars real quick before we get into his pedal board, and he's got some very, very nice guitars here. Very awesome. Nathan, can you kind of tell me, going from right to left, what we got here? Oh, uh, you got the J, J Tercer JT200. No, the far, the, far, the far right is Ibanez right oh, there. Yes, the... Uh, Ibanez RG550. All right. You the J Tercer JT200. All right. Ibanez JS100. That's a Dean Vendetta VNF1000. Okay. All right. Washburn Nuno Betancourt signature. I'm not 100% sure what kind that was. That was a GTX. GTX. That I had painted that I gave to you a few years back. You've had some stuff done to that though, right? Yeah, I put that black winter pickup in and I put two, um, two Seymour Duncans in Oh, there. you did upgrade the pickups. That's nice. I'm glad you did because that middle pickup was missing. Right? Yep. And then uh, this is your recent acquisition. Uh, I gave Nathan a EVH Wolfgang Special 2015 model. Looks good up there. And what about this, Nate? How you like that Rhodes? Oh, it's awesome. It's a, it's a, it's a JS32. It's a under three hundred dollar guitar, but it was amazing. And these pickups, I remember. I remember when we was at Guitar Center. I played the same model, but it, instead of white and black, it was black with the white pit guard, right? Yep. And it was played very good. What about this here? What was the LTD? Mm -hmm. LTD EC one thousand. Oh, that's nice right there. And of course, the Hendrix Monterey Strat. These posters used to be mine too when I was in my early twenties. Nathan kept all these and made his own collage. I think that's really cool. Not all of them were mine, but those on the top were mine. 
and a SRV. Now this, I was talking about this when I was on the way over here. Now there's your black V that Grandma and Grandpa got you, right? Yes. Now <clears throat> this Ibanez acoustic is that is it that the first item that you got off AMS for as far as payment to go, or is this the first thing you order from AMS? Period. No, um, that uh, line six was the first thing I ever ordered from AMS. This? Yeah. What I'm playing through? Yeah. Oh, because I remember when you ordered this and you let me hear it, and I ordered one right away. Yeah. Because I had a, they they had sent me a coupon I could get like like ten percent off for the Ibanez acoustic, and that was on a closeout. So I actually got that acoustic for like two seventy nine. Really? Yep. Okay. And you're playing the uh, J5 Telly right now that you just upgraded the pickups in, right? Yeah. Because we have the same guitar, but he just upgraded his pickups. These are uh, DiMarzio deactivators. Wow. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And he's got the John 5 shirt on, too. Now that's the, uh, oh, the string just break? Oh man, we can fix that. He's wearing the gold uh, on your shirt. That's what I got. Let me let you see his pedal board real quick while he's, thank God I got those strings. Mm -hmm. I brought him some strings over. Here's his pedal board. Nice. And here is his Marshall stack. What kind of stack is this, man? DSL, uh, DSL 100? That's nice, man. Yeah, the only thing that wasn't great about it was the built-in reverb it had. Oh, the built-in reverb you didn't like? No. No? I see you got them off, yeah. I couldn't really tell if they were on or not, so I went and got that reverb pedal. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to let him get uh, his guitar strung back up real quick, and we're going to do some jams. Stick around, folks. All right, here we go. We got a quick jam coming here, having some fun. <laughs>
sounds like it. Blues is blues, though, right? All right, ready? <laughs> 